want to say because Queen allows him to say it. And then he disrespects your mom at the hospital, but Queen, she wants to sit up here and kiss all on him and act like he didn't say the words that he said to her mom at the hospital. Because she knows the and truth. And then you want to say, where was all this prayer and energy? Who knows the truth, Clarence? You waited until my brother Cause he came the first day at the hospital and it wasn't that energy. See, you played it like the first day my mom came, you played it like it was some happy family time. You you wanna you wanna hold him? You wanna hold legend? All smiling and laughing. Because my brother was there. And you waited until he wasn't there. And then you got tipsy. You was a little bit tipsy. I don't want to say that you was drunk, but you were tipsy. You waited until you were tipsy and you yelled at my mom. You walked up on her with your son and, and your hand. You walked up on her, Clarence. You got in her face and all Queen could do was, no, stop, Clarence. My mom, my mom. This is really sad. And this is the bitch ass nigga that Queen is with. Like you with a nigga that really walked up on your mom. Like, I would have bashed his face in. Like, I'm the type of female. Clarence is the type of dude. He is his father's child. He definitely is his father's child. He is every bit of his father. Because for you to be in a hospital setting, all these professionals around, okay, that could have been a code right there. Like, you know, disturbance. Disturbance in the hospital, basically. A, a disturbance with patient visitors or patient family. Disturbance. You know what I'm saying? Could have really, like, just embarrassing, causing a scene. But most importantly, you, you took it upon yourself to forget, oh, I'm a man. You know, and this is, somebody, this is my girl's mom. And I'm walking up on her. You walk up on her and... Like, you want to fight her? You want to fight somebody's mom that you go with, that you date? What man walks upon a woman, first of all? Period. What man do you know walks upon a female, period? Unless he's a bitch-ass nigga. Unless he's an abuser. Unless he's used to doing that to women. He is his father's child, most definitely. Because for him to sit up there and walk up on Miss Reva and then... And then what did Tina say? Tina said, you yelled at her? Are you kidding me? Had that been my mother? Like if I had a relationship with my mom and I'm having a baby and I see my boyfriend walk up on my mom like he want to fight. Do you know I would have got out of my, my own bed, stitched up, split open, whatever, and whacked my boyfriend upside his head because you're not going to disrespect my mother bashed his whole dome in you're not going to disrespect my mother put him out get the fuck out you're not going to disrespect my mother like that's crazy as hell and then queen, queen is in the bed oh my god that's my mom my mom you put your girlfriend in a very stressful position and she just had a baby my thing is it's the walking up on miss reva for me walking up on a woman in her face like what you was what you was about to do what you was fun to do so what if miss reva would have like popped back like what you would have put your hands on her you your father's child most definitely you definitely are your father's child and tina was like you told queen clarence told queen i, I don't want to have my father's character come out of me he it already happened at the hospital you walked up on a woman and you're a man you're supposed to be a man and you walked up on a woman like you want to fight her. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now the tea is being spilled. And you yelled at her and told her to get out the hospital. And Queen hold my mama's hand and walked her out the hospital. I mean, how, how weak is that? Very weak. You're very weak, Clarence. You are your father's child once again. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You are your father's child, literally. I mean, I could see you in jail in a couple of years because you literally give me abuser vibes for you to walk up on somebody's mom, yell at her and tell her to get out. The no, bitch ass nigga, you get the fuck out the hospital since you're the one causing the disturbance. 
as the, as the nurse, if, if someone is causing a disturbance, you can put them out, whether they're the father or not. You can get security to escort them out. I would have had them escort your bitch ass out because you're the problem. You're the one that's, you're the aggressor. You're walking up on somebody's mother, a female first, a woman first and foremost, and then her mother secondly, like you want to fight. And then you yell at her and tell her to get out the hospital. You would have got a nosebleed. You would have caught a nosebleed, my guy. And Terrell, you did it when Terrell wasn't there because Terrell was there the first day, Tina said, but Terrell wasn't there when you did all that you did. You a bitch made ass nigga. You waited till Terrell was gone and it was just Miss Reva and women. You attack women just like your daddy attacked that girl. You attack women just like your daddy shot that girl in the face. You walked up into Miss Reva's face. Ready to fight. You just like your father. Just like your father. I'm angry right now. Me how, too. How weak, how weak is that? Weak. Weak. My mama didn't have to come to that hospital. Period. She was tossing and turning all night. Because she didn't want to go. Period. But you begged her, queen. You begged her. Begged her to come to the hospital only for her to get put out. What type of shit is that? That's crazy as hell. I need to learn how to stop cursing because, and I can, but it's like, it's situations like these that bring you out of character because I'm just appalled. Like, how dare you? You, you a whole grown ass boy. You, a, you a whole, you supposed to be a grown ass man walking up on a female. You arguing with Tina back and forth, a 19 year old girl. And you walking up on somebody's mom, a female, like you want to fight. And this is who the fans praise. Huh? Clarence is a straight up abuser, point blank, period. Okay? He's mentally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive. That nigga's just a hot ass mess. But you know what? That's who Queen left her husband for. That's who she wanted. And that's what she got. Now her dumb ass is looking stupid with this abuser in her hands. Okay? Separating her and her family. God knows, God, 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 God knows what's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Bruises on her arm, her family questioning her about it. Lord knows what's going on behind the scenes, behind the cameras. God forbid. And then she caught disrespect from your boyfriend. You ain't even had enough decency to put him in check. Period. As a daughter. That's wrong. It is. I didn't want to say she knows the truth. She knows the truth. After you did what you did. There's no excuse for that. That's why you that's why you keep reacting. Cause it's all finna come out. At this point, you soft. Fear pain, you bitch you too cotton. When Queen written that song, bad boy. That wasn't for you, Clarence. <laughs> you weren't a bad boy. <laughs> Bitch boy. We been heard that song. Bad boy was written for her last boyfriend, Q. Ooh! That song was written for him. The drug dealer. He's in jail right now doing big time. He was the bad boy. He got my mom's truck shot up. Ooh. And we had to ride around with bullet holes. People looking at us. We had to put spurting stickers over the bullet holes. Ooh. But I'm about to bring up his picture. Ooh! Look how y'all resemble each other. She just wanted somebody to fit his description. You aren't the bad boy. Can't be. Why you want? She made. She she did that to make you look good. But we been heard this song. It was it was written for Q. But since Q played her, it it went to you. But you aren't a bad boy. <laughs> you a bitch boy. You you're a boy. little boy. You proving this to me already. Look what you're doing. Who cares about doing stuff that he was doing to your daughter. Same thing she's doing now. Praying Not and crying. The... Not the picture. So Queen clearly has a type. Now see, Q is fine. Q got a girl. That's the that's the girl who that's the dude who shot up her mama car 
And the baby mama, the wife came out and was like, yeah, she was messing with my baby daddy. He got a baby with a girl. And um, basically she was like, you know, Queen was messing with that. She said they're married, her and Q. And she said that Queen was messing with him, a married man, you know, Q or whatever the case may be. And that's her man. And she came out and was like, you know, Queen was messing with him and he was married and she wanted to have his baby, yada, 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 yada. So that was a long time ago where the whole Q situation came out. And um, yeah, you know, that's who she she cheated on Chris with Q. That's the Q that she, that she cheated on Chris with. So she has a type and... You know, she got someone to resemble him. That's embarrassing because she brought up Queen's past and history. Like, Clarence, you're not the bad boy. You're not that nigga. Like, you're the bitch boy. The bitch made ass nigga. The real bad boy is in jail right now doing hardcore time. You wouldn't even last in jail. Your booty hole would last in jail. But you as a man, you as a tough guy, you as a person holding down his own would not last in jail at all. Prison at all. Period. Not publicly. Now you bringing up my mom's prayer life? When she's been praying since March on her channel?